Today we'll be investigating the thermal decomposition of metal carbonates. To begin, we need to set up our apparatus, as you can see here. We have a boiling tube with a rubber bung that's, that has a delivery tube connecting it to a test tube. All of this is held up by clamps. The first substance we will be using is magnesium carbonate. As you can see, magnesium carbonate is a white powder. Using a spatula, I will put some magnesium carbonate into my boiling tube. Next step is to close my boiling tube and ensure it is sealed with a rubber bung. In my test tube, I will be placing some lime water. Lime water is a clear solution. Lime water is used to test for the presence of carbon dioxide. If lime water turns cloudy, that means carbon dioxide is present. Using a pipette, I will put some lime water into my test tube. As you can see, lime water is a clear solution. Lime water is used to test for the presence of carbon dioxide. The moment the lime water is clear, that will go cloudy white if carbon dioxide is present. Our delivery tube must be placed into the lime water so that the gas will go into the lime water. If our delivery tube is above the lime water, it will not change color because the gas will not go into the lime water. We can see bubbles are being produced. The lime water is changing color from colorless to cloudy. This indicates the gas being produced is carbon dioxide. The next metal carbonate is sodium carbonate. Just like magnesium carbonate, it is a white powder. By looking at them, it would be very difficult to tell the difference between them. We will complete the exact same method for sodium carbonate and potassium carbonate and observing the change in color of the lime water for both substances. The lime water has now become quite cloudy. It's important we remove the delivery tube before removing the heat. And this is because if I were to remove the heat first before the delivery tube, the lime water would go back into the delivery tube and into my reaction. When observing the sodium carbonate, it doesn't look much different, but we can see a small amount of black on the white sodium carbonate, and what that is, is sodium oxide. That's because the sodium carbonate has chemically changed to sodium oxide and carbon dioxide gas. The next substance we'll be using is potassium carbonate. Just like the other two metal carbonates, it's a white solid. Because these bubbles are of carbon dioxide gas, which reacts with lime water to form a precipitate, which is a suspended solid in a solution. The test tube on the left contains lime water. 
The test tube on the right contains lime water that carbon dioxide gas has passed through. As you can see, when carbon dioxide passes through lime water, the color changes from clear to cloudy. On the left, we have magnesium carbonate. On the right, we have magnesium carbonate after it has been heated from a Bunsen burner. Magnesium carbonate, as you can see, is a powdery solid. After it has been heated in a Bunsen burner, it's been reduced to magnesium oxide, which is the black su blackish parts of the substance you can see here. To compare the reactions of all three metal carbonates, I've recorded the results in this table. All three substances cause lime water to go from clear to cloudy, indicating that they were producing carbon dioxide gas. Now, all three solids either darken very slightly in color or didn't change at all. That's because all three metal oxides are also white solids, just like the metal carbonates we started with. To compare the thermal decomposition reactions of all three metal carbonates, I used a timer to determine the amount of time it would take for the lime water to turn cloudy. Magnesium carbonate took 182 seconds, sodium carbonate 130 seconds, and potassium carbonate 83 seconds. So the, the thermal decomposition of potassium carbonate is the fastest reaction out of these three. To explain these reactions, I've written out word and symbol equations for the first two reactions. Magnesium carbonate was thermally decomposed to magnesium oxide, solid in carbon dioxide gas. Just like sodium carbonate was thermally decomposed to sodium oxide, solid in carbon dioxide gas. The magnesium oxide was the white to almost creamish color solid we saw and we detected the carbon dioxide gas by bubbling it through lime water.